What's happening guys, my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you to the Bahrain Grand Prix review here on my channel. So we've just finished the uh, 2014 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and uh, the winner was Lewis Hamilton followed by Nico Rosberg. Sergio Perez took third, fourth was Daniel Ricciardo, fifth was Hulkenberg, sixth was Vettel, seventh was Massa, eighth was Bottas, I believe ninth, uh, ninth uh, I do not know but I believe uh, Alonso might have got ninth. Um, don't hold my word by that, but that's just the top eight that really you need to know. So, uh, what happened in the race? Well, really, at the start, Hamilton, uh, Rosberg started on pole, followed by Hamilton. Hamilton jumped Rosberg, and then Hamilton pulled out a gap uh, because they were going on. They were going on to a two stop, uh, yeah, two stop. But uh, Hamilton wanted to go on to the softs first, and Rosberg went on the uh, prime, uh, went on the prime tires first. So Hamilton went on the options. Rosberg went on primes, Hamilton pulled out a 13 second or so gap on Rosberg and then Pastor Maldonado took out and made Esteban Gutierrez do a somersault onto the, into the first corner and uh, that called out a safety car and then Hamilton's gap which he needed really vitally to defend from Rosberg was then dwindled down. So Hamilton on the restart on the safety car was obviously pitted and he was on the harder compound tyres compared to Rosberg who was on the soft so naturally you would expect Nico Rosberg to win. Didn't go that way. Nico Rosberg and Hamilton had the best battle that you could have had all season. Great, great battle. So, so impressive. I think everyone on Twitter will agree. And I, I was obviously active on Twitter while it happened. And everyone was just going mental over it. It was such a good little battle. And uh, that wasn't the only battle. But uh, for the for like the first four laps after they gained 11 seconds on the rest of the pack, so that really shows the Mercedes dominance. But for that, then they uh, just pulled away and Hamilton got the edge on Rosberg and came home winner. Uh, another really good battle was the fact that the Williams at one stage were going to get podiums. They sadly only finished down lower in the grid, so that's not the way they wanted it. But Ricardo had a great battle with Vettel, uh, also got past Hulkenberg, and Hulkenberg was having a great battle with Vettel as well. And uh, Alonso was getting involved. Didn't really have the pace today, the Ferraris, but they got uh, Ferrari, Ferrari, isn't that? The Ferraris, and um, they didn't really have the pace today of Ferraris, but you know, maybe in the next race is coming up, especially Spain, Alonso want to be impressive, but uh, Vettel didn't have the pace compared to Ricardo, which looks to be a recurring theme, and Ricardo finally getting his first points in Formula 1, almost got his first officially classified podium of the season, but sadly that was given to Sergio Perez, who oddly enough gets his, I believe that's his third podium in Formula 1, didn't get one at McLaren, so really he scored a very small, if we're going to go by uh, McLaren have had two podiums, but really from actual celebratory, celebratory podiums, they've had one, and four senior have, have had one. So Perez really showing that he's got, he's actually gone to a, a slower team in theory and actually got a podium. So that's really impressive from him. And uh, my driver of the day does in fact go to the one and only Daniel Ricciardo, who started down in 13th on the grid after a good penalty, got up into 4th and almost got the podium. Uh, no holding back though, the fact that Hamilton had a fantastic job at defending against a driver like Rosberg in the same car and on the past the tyres. Vettel not really so good, Perez obviously getting the podium and uh, Hulkenberg also getting into 5th from a lower down position. But guys, please, please tell me down below what you thought about the race and if you've not watched it yet, um, please tell me about my uh, descriptive points on the race of how it went but you know it was a really good race I really enjoyed it someone who uh, many people are going to be talking about is Pastor Madonado and his flip uh, flipping Gutierrez who I think who is luckily safe after the somersault but uh, Pastor Madonado many people are calling that he gets a uh, race ban but obviously the point uh, penalty point system he won't unless of course they want to give him 12 penalty points straight away which is highly unlikely and another thing to highlight is Max Chilton finished for his second uh, 22nd consecutive race finish and both Lotus's finishes finished for this race so guys thank you for watching my name is OTG please leave your opinion down below leave a like and I will see you very very shortly goodbye